Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my review for Samurai Gun, my multiplayer review for Samurai Gun. What was described to me as a lightning fast Bushido brawler. <laughs> the game is being developed by Technopants and just became available over on Steam at a discounted price of $11.99. Basically, this entire review is going to be me telling you why you need to buy this game as soon as possible. Yes, that's how much I enjoy this. Essentially, what Samurai Gun is for me is the revival of the local versus experience that for me started back with GoldenEye on the N64. Many, many people can remember those days. Four people sitting there, NES controllers all over the place, broken joysticks, pizza, lots of yelling, and a lot of really damn good times. Anybody remember Proximity Mines? Oh yeah, I love the Proximity Mines. Samurai Gun has those very same moments that made GoldenEye, local GoldenEye experiences, so memorable all over the place. I mean, this game is just oozing play me with all of your friends, you will have a good time. It, it genuinely, genuinely is. But before we get into all the fancy pants, uh, you know, talk about the sound design and the visuals and things like that, let's continue to talk about why Samurai Gun is so damn awesome. <laughs> to start, the game is for, played with four people, essentially, okay? You can have two to four players for the versus mode. Now, the way you play that is up to you. You can use a keyboard, you can use an Xbox 360 controller, you use a PlayStation 4 controller, you can use just about any USB type Logitech controller you have laying around your house possibly. So the team has thought of everything, it's kind of mix and match. The Xbox One controller is not on that list, at least I couldn't get it to work just by plugging it in. The reason the PlayStation 4 controller probably works is because the game is actually in development for the PlayStation 4 and the Vita. But basically, mix and match those any way you want, keybind them any way you want, everyone gets to play the game in the most comfortable setting and most familiar setting possible. It also means that if you don't have four $60 PlayStation 4 controllers laying around, you can kind of use one of those, one of the keyboard, and one of everything. It works actually really, really well, and it's really easy to set it up. Now, once you've done all of that, everybody's got a controller in their hand. You're all sitting in front of this game screen. It's time to choose your character. So there is just an absolute plethora of different character designs. They all have Japanese names. At least they look like Japanese names. Not really a sort of like historian or professional on that that I can't pronounce, but they all sound really cool. And each of those characters, each of the different names, actually have their own like individual design elements to them. So you can have like different colors or different outfits. They kind of sometimes look like different characters altogether. But basically what that means is that there's only four people and there's like a, a dozen or so, probably two dozen or so characters to choose from. So no one will ever be complaining about you took my character. That may still happen because friends just tend to do that kind of things to friends, but there's no reason for it. There's plenty of characters. No one should be playing the same character. Now, after you've done all of that, of course, you're going to decide, okay, well, what level do we play on? Basically, you're just going to want to play on every level in the damn game. There's a ton of them. There's actually four subsections for the levels, at least as far as I've been able to tell. There's the factory setting. There is a sort of like snowy mountain setting. There's a village setting, and there's the forest setting, each of them with their own sort of dangers and death traps and their own, you know, design elements. Uh, the factory, for example, has like moving boxes and things like that that can crush you against the wall. It just makes for some really generally good, uh, you know, yeah, gameplay. Then you have the forest, which can sometimes be filled with bamboo, which can be used to actually kill opponents as well as to kind of make your own sneaky pass through. And then, you, of course, you have the towns, which sometimes seem to be littered with spikes of death in the bottom. And then the snow levels, which often have, like, spikes that can fall and kill people. On top of all of this, oh, there's also a cemetery. I forgot about the cemetery. There's the cemetery level as well, which is just... Uh, spooky. There's actually sort of these green moss things that you can walk upside down on. That really, you know, lends itself to some crazy moments when you have four people, two dudes walking upside down, bullets everywhere, swords all over the place. Just in general, the design of the levels is, is really just flawless for me. There wasn't a level I didn't like. All of the levels had their own challenges. And I mean, you know, keep this, bear this in mind. We're talking about the designs of overcoming the levels on top of the fact that there's three of your friends running around with swords and guns trying to kill you. That's what makes Samurai Guns such an intense, chaotic, and generally exciting experience. It's what never really made the game go stale for me in like the seven hours that I played it. Um, it wasn't seven hours, but I played it for about two days now and yeah, <laughs> it just didn't get old. It just did not get old. The more people you have, the merrier as well. So on top of all those crazy levels, you know, they're, those are all great. They're fantastic. I'm stoked that there's so many levels in the game because initially when I started playing I didn't understand how selecting level assists actually worked in the game. And then when I did I was like, oh, okay, there's actually a lot of stuff here. 
So once you've done that, you're inside of the level, of course you have to understand how to play the game. This is where the controller comes into part, of course. You're gonna have three buttons mapped to wherever the hell you please. You have the jump button, the sword button, and the pistol button. Now every player starts off with a sword, they always have the sword, and three pistol shots per life. So those bullets are pretty sparing, they're also, of course, one shot kill, but so is the sword. They're they're really kind of, it's a mixed bag of tricks, because some people might get really good with the sword and say, okay, that's all I'm going to use, and then very rarely switch with the pistol. Um, some people kind of rely on the pistol to, you know, you know, do their dirty, their, their dirty work, essentially. Their wet work, I guess you could say. Uh, but at the end of the day, you're going to develop your own strategy, because once you learn all of those things, you then have to kind of understand how to string them together in actual combat. So jumping off walls, dodging icicles, just doing a general you know, crazy amount of different tactics to make sure that you come out on the top at the end of the match. And that's where the fun of the game really is for me. While it seems simplistic, you just have three buttons, all those things thrown together just uh, make for an actual really deep combat experience, especially when you talk about the fact that swords can actually deflect other swords, they can deflect bullets back at the enemy, they can be used to slice bamboo into people's faces. There's just, the sword is like a multi-purpose tool inside of a samurai gun, which is really cool, because, you know, that's kind of like the mythological, like, samurai thing. You know, you know I slice a bullet in half, cut it out of thin air. You know, stuff like that. You do that stuff in Samurai Gun in a much smaller scale, but really fun nonetheless. Now, culminating all of this, holding this all together, is the sound design and the visual design. It's it's admittedly very, very retro. If you don't like retro stylized games, you're probably not going to like Samurai Gun, at least visually, but I promise that if you give the game a chance, its gameplay will win over that, and you'll probably start to fall in love with it. It has a very sort of classic kung fu, you know, retro style, of course, infused with just a ton of classic, you know, 8 bit gamingness. On top of that, there's the sound effects, which are epic, to say the least. Just a lot of really small details in the sword clashing sound effects, the bullet sound effects. It just, you always know what's happening where, and it always sounds like there's some crazy sword fight going on when everybody starts slicing their katanas through the air. On top of all that, the soundtrack, which I'm just going to let you guys let me know what you think of the soundtrack for yourself. I, want, for one, think it's fantastic, but here's a bit of a sampler of what you're going to hear while in the menus and while playing Samurai Gun. <laughs> Yeah, isn't that not the best thing you've ever heard? The soundtrack for this game puts an utter smile on my face, and I need to find that song so I can put it on repeat on my iPod pretty much every day for the rest of my life, because it's just that damn fantastic. Now, all I can do to you is recommend that if you own a PC, if you own a PlayStation 4, keep an eye out for this game, go pick it up. $12 and, you know, some friends, throw them all in the same room, get some controllers together, have your friends bring over their 360 controllers, is going to get you probably some of the best and most memorable gaming nights you've had in a very, very long time. I mean, this game is on my list of nostalgia. There's a few games that click in nostalgia for me, and Samurai Gun has now made that list. It's also probably made my list for possibly best game of the year. Indeed it has. I've enjoyed it that much. You know, when I when I think about what am I going to do for game of the year, I think about what game has made me smile the most, what game has just generally surprised me the most, and Samurai Gun is officially one of those games. Thank you guys for tuning in for my review of Samurai Gun. If, again, if you're interested in picking this game up, it is available only on Steam right now at a discount discounted price of $11.99. I believe that's for the first week. After that, it'll go up to $15. Either way, this game is the deal of a lifetime. It's been Tony Mo, and I'll see you guys in the next one.